Hey guys, it's Kenya, and I am back with an update on my attic. So I think it's been a week since I put up the last video, if I recall, but sorry, I'm a little out of breath. It might be all I take. Show me love, show me love, show me love. So we decided to go with white. We've pretty much been painting, did minor repairs. This is the front room, literally painted everything white. This is next room, painted it white. I decided to kind of keep this up here though because it's in good shape and it's gonna kind of go with the theme I'm going with. Even though it's outdated, I feel like it might work. Don't mind the floors over here because obviously they're not completed. So the paint on them is no big deal to me. But I did panic because I got some paint over here. So I need to figure out how to do that. I still need to figure out how to fill in the gaps where the wood was not finished being put down. Um, this door too, I kind of regret painting it white. So I'm still trying to decide if I want to paint it a different color. But you know, white's definitely a good blank canvas to have. You know what I just noticed? I left this door open the other day, yesterday, to dry, and now it's closed. Um, but today we are tackling this room. So what we're gonna do today, or what's on the agenda for today, is to do some repairs, um, pretty much clean it out, peel the floor up, minor um, installation type things, so that's what the goal is today. So we're not gonna be painting this room today, but just more so getting it prepared. So yeah, there's not much of an update besides that, but I just really wanted to come in and check in with you guys on the process. Um, I definitely still see like a few touch-ups that would need to be done as well. A um, few minor things, but you know, it's a work in progress. We've been at this for like two days now, so we'll kind of see how it goes. Hey guys, it's Kenya and I'm back in my attic. Sorry if you hear a lot of background noise. I have a fan going and my air conditioner in. But I am back today with trying to figure out a very ratchet fix. So let's get started. The other day, uh, my girlfriend was here and she was helping me. Uh, we did some minor repairs. And if you guys remember, there's a part of like my front room where the floor isn't completed. Um, and it has wood panel, what are they called? Wood panels, like, you know, the planks that snap into each other and then it's just incomplete. So I'm just like, I don't really know how to install those, but I was like, let me give it a try. But I bought the wrong type of wood panels. Instead of getting like the actual ones that snap into each other, I believe I got the vinyl ones. So I'm just like, well, I can't use those and I don't really want to spend any more money because I'm... I've already spent so much and I'm still not done. So we're like, okay, cool, let's buy a rug. So we measured out the area of where the empty space was and then we went and got like the biggest rug that we could find that's close enough to the size. I'm gonna show you now. 
so we got this rug and it's so cute we got it from home goods but the issue is that it clearly doesn't cover everything and like in my mind i was like oh it's fine because i'm gonna have my couch over here but my couch is on legs it's not one of those couches that are just flat to the ground and you know i have this underlay from when i was gonna put the wood wood down and i also have the uh traffic master under the rug so it's like very soft like you don't have to worry about like walking on something hard so i'm just like all right well this looks crazy so i was thinking maybe i could like since i have the padding and stuff i could try to lay the panels and granted it's going to be a dip i'm very much aware of that but like once my furniture comes in i could place it in a way where people won't really be walking where the dips are so hopefully we can figure this out i haven't really opened the box yet but we're gonna see 